My treadmill didn't come with a choke. Let me check Amazon. Well, I'm not seeing a motor choke specifically, but what about that one? That one looks like it might do the job. Spoiler alert, it's too small. Greetings fellow DIYer and welcome to my video. So if you've seen any of my other videos, you know that I am a huge fan of using a motor choke to help clean the power and reduce arcing at the brushes. When I first started making these videos about two, three years ago, you could easily get a treadmill motor choke off of eBay for less than $25 shipped. Problem is, I've been telling people to go to eBay for three years now, and some of my videos have over 30,000 views. So, as you would expect, the prices on eBay have gone up significantly. And you can't easily get a motor choke on eBay at a reasonable price anymore. Now, the good news is I have a solution. I have a DIY video that shows you how to make a choke out of a microwave transformer. So, that's an option. There are still lots of treadmills out there that come with motor chokes. Keep looking for free treadmills and you may get more parts, including the choke that you're looking for. But do not go to Amazon and buy this guy right here. Now again, in the listing, this looks correct. It looks pretty much like this. And because there's no way to tell exactly what size it is, you think, hey, I've got exactly what I need. The problem is the wires in this are super, super tiny. If you look down into the coil, there is tiny, tiny, tiny wire that makes up this wrapping. I've had over the last year, at least half a dozen people contact me through my YouTube channel or through my website and say, hey, I can't get my system to work correctly. And they end up sending me pictures, they show me what they have, and every single time it's because they've purchased this choke right here. And the reality of it is using this choke is like trying to water your garden with a coffee straw. The wires are so small that this will not handle the amperage that a treadmill motor needs. And in most cases, the motor doesn't even spin. In a few cases, it kind of hums and and spins a little bit, but they can't hardly get it to do much of anything. Do not be fooled that this choke from Amazon is going to do the job. I've been telling people when they ask me what specs do I need when picking a choke for my system, bigger is better. This is a fairly small motor choke. This came out of a treadmill that I parted out and as you can see, it's roughly the size of a tennis ball, and it's barely big enough. So what does that say about this guy right here? The choke that is on my lathe is easily two to three times bigger than this. It is the size of a softball, and with it, my system produces extremely clean power. So do not be fooled. Don't go spend money on Amazon for this guy right here because it's not going to do the job for you. Either find yourself a motor-specific choke, they still can occasionally be had for a reasonable price on eBay, continue scrapping treadmills to get one that way, or use the information in my DIY choke video to convert a microwave transformer into a choke. If you like what you've seen, please click like. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.